everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, second generation AMPR solution uh, with the Deep in View webinar. It's, uh, it's basically an introduction to our second generation AMPR camera and solution. My name is Jock Taylor. I'm a pre-sales engineer for Hikvision. Um, and I think today this uh, webinar won't be, won't be too long. It's, it's quite a quick uh, overview of what the second generation AMPR camera uh, or solution can provide. Um, please feel free to ask your questions. We have Marcus who uh, will be answering the, the Q&A. So at the bottom, use the Q&A tab. Ask your questions there as we go through this presentation. Um, ask as many questions as you want to. I think the AMPR solution um, is quite important for the South African market. Um, a lot of SIs and a lot of uh, installers have used this in the past uh, and will continue to use it. Um, with as many vehicles we have in South Africa, um, I think it is a vital part of providing a, a professional solution to your clients and end users. Yeah, so let's look at the, the second generation um, NPR camera in or solution in a little bit more detail. Get this started. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at the requirement analysis. Uh, we're also going to look into the solution introduction, so what you can use the, um, the second generation NPR camera for, uh, and obviously a pro product comparison. Um, that will be between the previous generation cameras, which is the 4A26 and the 7A26, as uh, most people are already familiar with. Um, so we'll just do a quick comparison between those as well. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the requirement analysis and typical scenarios in South Africa or the African market where, where these cameras can be used. Um, so ANPR obviously stands for automatic number plate recognition. Um, and a lot of scenarios, and I think maybe the most of the, most of the scenarios would be for uh, typical um, estate entrances uh, where you need to capture the number plates of all the vehicles that enter and leave the premises, um, as well as small businesses, even malls, uh, etc. So the first scenario that we look at um, is your typical closed region, um, which could be estates or sm small office parks, um, where you'd like to capture the number plates of the vehicles. Now, typical problems that, that might occur with your, just your normal um, infrared uh, bullet type cameras, it's obviously the strong headlights of those vehicles. So once you enter um, or drive towards the camera with strong headlights, um, just your standard camera doesn't perform well um, in those conditions and you won't get a clear number plate to be able to do, first of all, recognition of that number plate, but also even in playback, to be able to see that specific number plate uh, is quite tricky as well. Um, then also uh, bigger complexes or maybe industrial parks, uh, malls, those type of scenarios also obviously incredibly important to capture number plates of all vehicles entering and leaving. Um, how long were they uh, inside the premises for? Those type of scenarios a lot of people use the number plate recognition for. Um, as well as comparing it to a blacklist as an example. So you might have stolen vehicles in the vicinity of that mall or industrial park. Um, and if that vehicle enters your premises, you'd like to get an alarm notification. So reading the number plate as soon as it enters that, uh, your premises is obviously vitally important. If you've got a blacklist uh, or a suspicious list that you've set up already, um, you would be able to get those alarm notifications immediately as they enter and obviously act accordingly. Um, so those are the typical scenarios that we can also have. <coughs> okay, then we also have, sorry about that, let me just go one back. Um, the double check access control system. So the double checking means that we're going to do Number plate recognition, first of all, similar to the previous two slides or examples. Um, but then we can also do the double checking part as an example, access control. So from an access control and a number plate verification, um, we'll be able to then 
give access to the specific people. So if only one of them uh, are in place, we still don't allow access. So we'll look into a little bit more detail on this in the later slide as well. But just a quick example of the typical solutions or the um, offerings that we can actually give you um, from a AMPR as well as an access control integration solution. <clears throat> okay, so system architecture. Um, let's start at the bottom. Obviously, you've got your three different solutions that we just explained now. So the AMPR camera, um, most solutions would be a loop in the ground or maybe beams on the side uh, so that the, the boom doesn't close. Uh, or also the loop in the ground can trigger the AMPR camera to take a snapshot and read the number plate every time at exactly the same uh, place, uh, which is quite important as well from a uh, accuracy point of view, um, so that you know that the boom gate is maybe not in the way, uh, those type of things. So it all depends on how the setup and installation is. Um, so those are, that's one example. Then we also have our AMPR camera that can integrate into access control. Okay, so access control, this part, we can also integrate into third party access control systems. We've done it in the past. Um, we're welcome to, to look at uh, third party integration in the future as well, especially with our second generation camera that's got the Wigand by default now. So the second generation AMPR camera already has the Wigand. In the past, we had to have a specific AMPR camera that supported the Wigand. Um, now we support it by default on the second generation APR camera. So it means that um, we can actually send a Wigan protocol out to the access control system. They can receive it and then maybe open the boom gate from the access control uh, system and not from the APR camera as such. And then the third option is um, what we showed you before with the dual authentication, AMPR camera plus access control, and then we open the booms, almost like a double check. Um, on the access control side, we support a tag reader or a card. Um, we also support biometric or fingerprint reading as well as facial recognition. So it all depends on which solution you want to give your client. We have any of those options available. And once again, it's going to be number plate recognition plus the correct fingerprint before we actually open the boots. I think it's a very, very nice solution to offer your clients from a security point of view. Okay, then if we look at the top, obviously any of those solutions can go through the network. Um, and then connect to your HIC Central. So HIC Central is our professional BMS platform. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with that. Um, from the HIC Central, we can then also add a iSeries NVR, and this is definitely recommended for any of our AMPR solutions, iSeries NVRs, um, connected to a monitor to be able to obviously view the specific events, alarm notifications, etc., And that can also be monitored from your smartphone by the Heat Connect app. Um, so you'll be able to control who, who does have uh, access to your premises, who doesn't um, set up your blacklist or suspicious list, um, uh, alarm notifications, etc., all through the Heat Central um, BMS platform. Okay, then we also have the Barrier and detection. So this is a little bit more detailed about what we explained before for the first solution, which is just a standard AMPR camera, maybe needing to open the boom gate. So you can create a, a whitelist as an example. Uh, people who does have access to your premises, as soon as the camera uh, reads the number plate, then we can open the boom because the camera already has an IO built in. Um, so that means that even from a standalone point of view, the camera can already act as a um, authentication method to open the boom gate for specific people, maybe uh, residents, staff, uh, et cetera. Okay, then the second option is obviously with an access control as an host. So this is typically for from a third party access control. Uh, obviously it can be our HIC vision access control as well, but we do support third party um, access control systems. We've integrated with some already. Um, obviously, before you sell, let's just make sure that whatever third-party access control you are going to sell, maybe do a couple of tests first. Um, but it's a standard Wigand output that we will give you from the camera. So it means that we read the number plate and we give out specific numbers. So almost like a card number in access control terms. Um, we give out a card number 
the card number is received from the access control point of view. Um, and based on that, you can then obviously open the boom gate. So either from an ANPR um, point of view or in combination with your access control system. So it means that the access control system will actually open the boom gate or control the opening of that boom gate, not directly from the camera. Okay, and then we have the third option, um, which we meant by the a double authentication or double check. So it means that the AMPR camera, once again, is gonna read the number plate as soon as the vehicle uh, gets close. Um, then we're gonna also be able to do a double check via the access control unit. So the access control unit, um, that specific device that you see there, we've already tested before. Um, so that can be card or fingerprint. Um, we've also done integration into facial recognition terminals. Um, so it all depends on what you want to sell to your client. Uh, the specific model that you see there also has an intercom built in. So it means that if you have a resident, um, he can obviously read the number plate, put down his finger with, dual, with double check or, or dual authentication, he'll be able to gain access to the premises. If it's a visitor, for example, we will still capture the number plate, but then obviously he doesn't have a card or fingerprint um, that matches the system, so he won't be able to gain access. He can then also press intercom on that specific device, dialing through to the control room, um, and then obviously have a conversation who is gonna visit, um, and they can then open the boom gate from there, or decide whether they want to open the boom gate. So that's a typical solution uh, for a lot of estates, business office box, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, then just a little bit of an in-depth look at the uh, new second generation uh, deep learning AMPR camera. Um, so deep learning just means that it's got the deep learning chipset built in. Um, so obviously it uh, increases um, the recognition rate, it reduces the false capture rate. Um, no plate vehicle detection, so that's also now built into that. I know the previous version also had almost a similar type of feature for no plate vehicle detection, but they were, you had to put it on a specific setting. So we'll, we'll discuss that in uh, the next slide. Um, supporting direction detection. So it means that we can actually um, tell the software in which direction did the vehicle go. So easy driving uh, inbound or outbound. Uh, so we also have that direction detection built into this camera. Uh, multiple integration modes, which is important for third-party integration. You can see their milestone is already integrated uh, and they always do quite quickly with most of our, our new project um, devices. Um, so we support ESRP, SDK, uh, SFTP, which is secure FTP, uh, also HTTP listening. So those are different integration methods or modes that most um, software engineers will be familiar with and they'll be able to obviously integrate accordingly uh, get the number plate recognition information or even the weekend information if they want to integrate into the access control part uh, data security uh, you can see that whole list there secure ftp uh, stream encryption um, sd card encryption so it means if you store information on the sd card once again if someone removes the sd card it doesn't mean that they're just going to be able to gain access to whatever information is on there it's all encrypted etc um, let's look at the model codes at the bottom. You can see that the, at the bottom we've got the different options. Um, obviously this um, I at the, at the first part, so the small i DS, that I basically means that it's the intelligent deep learning chipset that's inside this camera. Okay, so that's the first giveaway to know that this is the second generation AMPR camera. Um, then you see the rest of the code. There's obviously a 7A26. So that 26 means it's a two megapixel. The 7A46 means it's a four megapixel. So we've got this available in a, a two and a four megapixel uh, pixel options. And then the main difference at the back is obviously the one without the Y and the one with the Y. So the one with the Y is basically just the anti-corrosion. So typically at the coastal areas, uh, you might look at uh, rather purchasing that specific model uh, if the corrosion part is uh, maybe a problem. Okay, then uh, number plate recognition, access control library can store up to 10,000 pieces. Okay, so this is a whole lot more than in previous AMPR cameras. So it means on the device itself, we can store up to 10,000 
uh, number plate information. Um, also outputting lum, uh, license plate in local languages. Um, so basically in South Africa, English I think would be sufficient, but it does support a lot of other languages as well. Uh, easy to use HIC Connect. Uh, it'll also support through HIC Pro Connect, um, iSeries NVR and HIC Central. Um, so much easier to, to use this specific camera as well. Um, dark fighter technology, once again, built in, which is vitally important. And most of our project cameras will have that uh, built in and highlight compensation. So that's what the, uh, HLC uh, stands for, highlight compensation. So it's typically the headlights that shines into the camera. It does compensate for that to still be able to get a clear uh, number plate. Um, reading um, to be able to give you that uh, accuracy. Okay, then also very exciting is our PTZ cameras. So our new uh, range of PTZ cameras that basically replace the older versions. So the older versions you can see at the top, most of you should be familiar with them. It's the DF range. Um, so most of those have been replaced by newer models. Okay, so um, if you need number plate recognition on a PTZ, please take a note at the bottom um, product codes because those are the new product codes for our new DF range of cameras. Um, so if you do need AMPR, then obviously look at purchasing one of those models. Um, once again, they come in a 25 times optical zoom as well as a 42 times optical zoom. Um, there on the right hand side there's also a 36 times um, so basically you can see the DF 82 so 82 that 2 there is the megapixel once again um, so it comes in a 2 or a 4 megapixel and then the 25 is the optical zoom that the camera supports so it comes in a 25 times or a 42 times optical zoom so you can see there the 36 times optical zoom cameras have now been up upgraded to a 42 times um, optical zoom and then the new models will also support number plate recognition so i think this is this is quite nice uh, we had a lot of projects in the past we needed uh, a typical solution like this now you'd be able to zoom into the number plate of the um, the vehicle and the camera will automatically capture that number plate as if it was a, a standard bullet camera doing uh, doing number plate recognition. Okay, so very exciting. Um, there are some slides that will explain it a little bit more. Once again, on the NPR side, deep learning algorithm. So it increases the accuracy. Uh, obviously, the image side, um, which is built for number plate recognition in daytime, uh, quick capture rate, accurate readings, as well as nighttime um, with the correct infrared and the headlight compensation built into the camera to give you accurate um, number plate readings. And then the security that we decided as well um, with the HTTP uh, secure methods um, of connecting as well as the encryption on the SD cards. Okay, then um, the advantages. So let's look at the advantages, um, the high accuracy of the, the number plate recognition cameras. Uh, dual mode. So dual mode means that you can select either or um, of the following settings. So vehicle priority. So it recognizes the license plate after detecting that it's a vehicle. Okay, so, so that's already an advantage, um, meaning that if a person is going to uh, ride his bike uh, past it, we're not going to try and read a number plate. So that those are the typical examples um, that you might have had in the past where uh, the camera detects motion and then it just tries to read whatever characters is available and it might read um, a lot of garbage like a fence there as an example or the grill of a vehicle, uh, those type of things. Um, so that's vehicle priority. So it looks for a vehicle. If it sees a vehicle, then it obviously reads the number plate. So that's the one option. Second option is license plate and vehicle. Now this is obviously the recommended way of um, doing uh, AMPR. Because as you can see at the top, if we're going to detect a vehicle in the screen, it could be anywhere, we're still going to um, try and do a number plate recognition. Whereas if you do a, a license plate and vehicle, it, it's looking for the vehicle obviously and the number plate. And if both of them are in the screen, then obviously we're going to do the, um, 
uh, last recognition. Also, this method will increase the um, uh, recognition rate at night time. So obviously at night time, you can see at the bottom, we can't really see the vehicle, but we can see the license plate quite clearly. So it means that if we see the number plate, we're gonna do the recognition. Um, if you use vehicle priority number one, uh, then obviously if we don't see the vehicle, uh, but only the license plate, we might miss that specific vehicle. Okay, so just keep those things in mind. Uh, obviously, there are two, um, the two different modes and you can um, use the correct one for each different application. <clears throat> okay, then advantage number two, uh, unlicensed vehicles as well as motorcycles. You can see on the right-hand side there, um, even if it's a motorcycle with a different type of uh, number plate, we can still, with a deep learning algorithm, we can still do the number plate recognition of that specific um, uh, vehicle. Also, unlike an example, we will still capture, because we still see it's a vehicle or a, or a motorcycle, we still capture, but we obviously save that image as a no plate. So you'll be able to go back in the history three pictures and you'll be able to see okay which vehicles are actually entering and leaving that don't have plates maybe we can stop them later on and ask them the reason for not having number plates okay then direction detection and as we mentioned we can then say only capture number plates if it's an incoming vehicle all the outgoing vehicles, if they leave, we don't worry about the number plates. We've already captured them um, on a different camera maybe, um, but we only want to recognize vehicles coming in. And, and there might be some applications where this is, uh, is crucial um, so that you don't have double readings of vehicles entering and leaving. Maybe I only want the entering um, vehicles. As well as for counting purposes, etc. Uh, this is quite vital to have the direction that the vehicle is um, driving. Um, then we also have the dogfighter technology built in. So you can see on the right hand side, a typical example of the AMPR camera. Um, be able to read the number plate much, much easier. So it stands out quite clearly, even though the headlights are on, uh, we can still see a clear image of the number plate, means that the number plate camera can actually do its work and read that number plate, store the image, um, and obviously give you the alarm notifications accordingly. Whereas with your general cameras or general AMPR cameras, you might not be able to see the number plate. So you see a, a nice image of the whole surrounding area, but the number plate doesn't stand out. And that's the crucial part that you need from a, a number plate recognition point of view. Um, so the correct technology is built into the camera with the dark fighter technology, a specific infrared frequency, et cetera, et cetera. All those combinations make the AMPR camera such a powerful tool for you guys to use from a, a number plate recognition point of view. Okay, so those are the main differences and typical examples of trying to use just a standard um, camera uh, to do number plate recognition. Uh, not recommended at all. Uh, obviously, an NPR camera is designed for that purpose. Okay, there's another example of the strong light compensation. So, what we call HLC, which is high light compensation. Uh, and that's typically if headlights are on for a standard camera. Uh, once again, most cameras will actually just give you a, a big blur. Um, with the headlight shining into the camera. So general NPR cameras might perform a little bit better, uh, but not ideal in most circumstances. Whereas the Higvision NPR camera, especially the second uh, generation one, but you saw the previous ones as well, as well, they've all performed very well, even with the headlights of vehicles on. Uh, even on brights, it doesn't matter. You can see on the right-hand picture how that number plate is actually standing out it's easy for the camera to then read that plate, keep it in the database, uh, and compare it with your different databases. Okay, then large coverage. I think this is quite nice as well, and we actually had it from the 7A26. Um, this was already a, a, a major advantage, where even though the number plate um, 
still needs to be visible and quite clearly visible to give you an accurate reading, you can actually zoom out quite a lot. So general NPR cameras, and I know in the past, we've done a lot of NPR projects and usually you need to zoom in quite a, quite a lot to be able to see the characters clearly to give you an accurate reading. Um, so the left-hand picture is a typical example thereof where you had to zoom in. It means that you lose a lot of the overview of the whole um, site or, or the whole entrance part. Um, whereas with the latest NPR cameras, you actually don't need to zoom in as much. So it means that you can use this NPR camera for number plate recognition, which is the first priority of this camera. Still gives you a very accurate reading. You can see the number plate there clearly. In the past, maybe you can see the number plate clearly as well, but the NPR camera um, didn't have the algorithm or the deep learning chipset to be able to give you an accurate reading. Now, even with that size number plate that you can see in the picture there, it'll still give you a very accurate reading, but you also have a general overview of um, the area, which means you actually purchase one camera, but it does the, the purpose of two. So it gives you NPR as well as an, a nice overview of the surrounding area and what is happening around the vehicle. What did the security guard uh, actually do around the vehicle? Those type of scenarios um, is obviously important. You don't need to uh, install a second camera as an overview. Uh, by using the latest NPR cameras. Okay, then easy to deploy um, and easy to maintain. Um, so you can see there on the left hand side a typical installation of an NPR camera. It could be very, very simple and easy. Um, and once again, because of the algorithm, there are some criteria that you need to keep in mind, especially from an accuracy point of view. Um, when vehicles are traveling at low speeds, I think uh, these criteria become uh, less of a problem, but at anything above, let's say 40, uh, 40 uh, k's per hour and up, um, the criteria on the right hand side is actually quite important for accuracy purposes. So it doesn't mean we're not going to read the plate if you don't conform to those criteria, um, but it does mean that the accuracy might not be what you expect. So very important to keep in mind, um, keep within that 30 degree of angle on the installation side. So anything more than 30 degrees, obviously the algorithm isn't um, trained for that um, slant of the number plate or the characters might be um, too small or, or, or not exactly in the way that uh, the algorithm has been trained for. Um, and that'll affect the accuracy thereof. So that, that's a little bit more on the technical side. You're welcome to contact us if you do get into um, problems with that. Um, but as long as you keep within that 30 degree of angle up and to the side, uh, you should be fine because that's what the, the camera is designed to do. Okay, but very easy to install. Also a motorized zoom lens. So it means that you install the camera and then you can just zoom in and out uh, from the, the computer. You don't need to open the camera again, do a focus change, any of those. So the motorized zoom lens, lens, once again, just makes it easier from an installation point of view, setup point of view, to get the camera to perform at its best. Okay, data security, we looked into this uh, a little bit earlier, so a little bit more detail on that. Uh, and obviously data security is vitally important for for most scenarios, especially when you deal with um, databases, number plates, uh, where they are stored, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's it's quite high on the priority list for Hikvision. Um, so to prevent unauthorized physical connection, it supports that 802.1 um, TLS, which is a secure protocol, um, so that only devices with specific certificates can access the private network. We also have IP address um, filtering built into the, the camera so that only specific IP addresses can log into the camera or gain access to the device that's also supported. Um, to prevent real-time video stream playback and, and being hacked remotely, we support uh, stream encryption. Okay, so this is important. RTSP and RTP over the HTTPS. So HTTPS is a secure HTTPS uh, method as well as we support that SD card encryption. Okay, so we encrypt the information, the stream, uh, everything is encrypted so that you can't just access it uh, from anywhere. 
Um, Eagle and MPR camera supports SF, uh, FTP, which is secure FTP. Once, it, once again, it means that the images and the information is encrypted um, and is then sent to the FTP server, where it's obviously decrypted again. Okay, then the Higvision security, auditing log records, all data activities uh, to ensure that all security operations can be queried. Okay, so it means that we keep a log on the device so whoever changes something or um, deletes any information, all of that information is stored on the camera. So you can go back and retrieve, retrieve the information and see who did what on the specific device. Okay, um, now let's look at the long distance recognition of the PTZ. So I know here we say 250 meters for plate recognition. Um, this has obviously been tested already, so it does do 250 meters um, of plate recognition. That's obviously zoomed in. Once again, you need a, quite a clear view of the number plate, uh, but at least it gives you the option to go a little bit more than your standard 30 to 40 meters type of AMPR that we've done in the past with the bullet cameras. Now you'll be able to do it much further. Now the 250, as I say, you can see at the bottom there, distance depend on the size of the number plate. Um, and the optical zoom of the camera. So we uh, mentioned to you before, we've got a 25 times optical zoom, as well as a 42 times optical zoom on the cameras, uh, the new uh, AMPR PTZ cameras. Um, so according to what we've tested, this is obviously a test that's been done in, in China. Um, and apparently the characters on the number plates there are larger than our number plates. So there they've tested it at 250 meters. I'll play you the video just now. Um, in South Africa, our characters are smaller. So what we've done, what we've tested uh, in the last couple of months or so is that we get an accurate reading at about 70 meters. Okay, so 70 meters, um, which is not the same. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll keep improving the algorithm thereof. So we might increase that in the future. But just keep in mind that um, the 250 that we're showing you now is not necessarily for the South African market yet. Okay, so let's look at the video. Okay, so there's a typical example, zoomed in, number plates on the right hand side. So as we, as the vehicles are driving, we'll capture the number plates, store them, you can see on the right hand and the left hand side as the vehicles are detected. We do a recognition and there you can see the zoom out, how far that actually uh, did an accurate reading on the number plates. Okay, so very, very nice um, solution that we have. Um, we'll continue with tests locally and, and we'll share the information as we, as we get better with this specific model. Uh, but I think it's already very exciting to be able to have this specific camera to be able to, to give you that, especially from a safe city environment, typically like you can see in the video. Um, where if there's uh, suspicious vehicles driving around, just zooming into the vehicle, getting the number plate, at least that number plate is then on the system. You can check it with your suspicious database or um, stolen vehicle database, um, and it all happens automatically. The operator just needs to zoom into specific areas. Um, so very, very nice and exciting um, to have this camera available. Okay, then uh, product comparison. Um, so this is a comparison between our previous models. The previous models is obviously the, you can see on the left hand side, the 4A26 um, and then the 7A26. So the 7A26 uh, replaced the 4A26 about two years or so ago, you know, maybe two and a half or so. Um, and even the 4A26 was quite a, a, a powerful number plate recognition camera, very successful in the market. 7A26 then replaced it. Uh, obviously, a lot of enhancements, much accurate, uh, uh, much more accurate readings. Um, and now we've got on the right hand side our second generation Deep in View AMPR camera. Okay, so let's look at the quick comparison. Uh, deep learning, so obviously the previous ver versions didn't have, have that deep learning chipset. So the IDS on the right hand side has got the deep learning chipset. So it means that, once again, the accuracy much, much better. So it means that we can train the camera um, in the development part already to do accurate readings on the specific characters for South African market as an example. Okay, then we have the no play detection. Um, so 
it also supports the no plate detection. So it means that if the vehicle drives there with no number plate, we're still going to see it's a vehicle. We're still going to uh, detect it. Uh, and we're going to take a, a snapshot of that vehicle so that you can still have that image at least available, even though there's no number plate. Um, Non-standard plate, so those square little plates, as an example, that's on the back of um, motorcycles, we'll be able to read those um, accurately as well. Then we have the direction detection. Um, so we had that in the in the past as well, but obviously the, the accuracy of that would be increased on the uh, second generation camera as well for the direction part. Um, then we've got the dark fighter built in to be able to give you the clear number plate in most conditions, day and nighttime. Um, and then also the weekend version. So as I mentioned in the past, uh, if we had to integrate with a third party access control, um, then obviously the weekend version was available, but it was a specific hardware camera. Now with the second generation, it's built into the camera already. So the weekend is already supported. So it means if you want to integrate into third party access control systems, um, the option is there already available. Okay, and then IK10. So a vandal proof version um, on the second generation, it's already, that's by default, it's a vandal proofed um, camera. Okay, and then lastly is our uh, just a, a small little comparison or actually just to make you guys aware of uh, the deep in view ampr camera versus the tcm now the tcm is our traffic side of of number plate recognition um, so for general pro projects um, and probably most projects that you guys will be familiar with in the retail environment commercial verticals um, for malls, residentials, etc. Then obviously um, the seven line AMPR camera um, would be sufficient. So that's perfect for number plate recognition, even up to higher speeds, it's not a problem. If you're looking at more highway um, AMPR, intelligent traffic, we also have those options available. So this slide is just to um, familiarize yourself with that, that we do have the different options. Uh, we don't recommend to use the 7 series ampr camera on the highways for example so it's a different application we do have products for that it's the tcm so an intelligent traffic ampr camera um, and that'll be able to give you a lot more so even violation detection so if a person crossed a line uh, a solid line uh, when you did a line uh, a lane change those type of things are all available uh, number plate recognition at high speeds up to 250 uh, kilometers per hour, um, skipping red lights, all of those type of uh, scenarios or solutions that you might need. If you do have uh, inquiries about that, feel free to discuss it with us. We do have a range to be able to support that as well. Um, as well as smart parking. So smart parking is also an option. So if you have parking uh, areas where you need number plate recognition cameras, once again, we do have those options available as well. All right, and that's basically it from the second generation AMPR um, slide. Um, thank you guys once again for, for joining this webinar. Um, I hope the information that we shared is insightful and you'll be able to use it going forward. 